Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video we talked about adding a page, which is really creating. Remember the C in CRUD? Create? Well, that's what we did. We created dynamic pages now. Now, in this video, I want to talk about updating our dynamic pages. So let's go ahead and update them, or aka edit them. So let's go ahead and click right here on edit page. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Warning, include page underscore form on line 81 of edit underscore page dot PHP. So let's go to edit underscore page. Where is she? Okay, edit underscore page. Open with TextMate. And I'll highlight it up. Uh, line 81, I believe. 81, 81, 81. 87, 84. 81. Common mistake. I didn't put the file extension on at the end of the file. It's .php. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and reload it. Go ahead and click cancel. Uh-oh. From the top. Localhost vp content.php. Okay, so let's try to make an update on our page called Sweet Josh. We just created edit page. Page name and position. Okay, so our page is not being sourced incorrectly so let's go back to our content because I believe it's our edit page file is fine I think let's look at our content page so we'll go to content.php and from the top let's just skim through this really quick um, New info, that's fine. Let's go down here to our main content. If not null, yada yada, this has worked so far. Okay, I found it. You see right here, our query string is still info. Well, we created page for that, so that's my mistake. Sorry about that, guys. Page right there. Now I want to look at our edit underscore page because I might have put an info in that query there, but we're not talking about our information table. We're talking about our pages table. So let's track down that page, edit underscore info dot PHP. Do I already have it open? No, page form. I can close that out. Edit underscore page. Okay, so from the top, let me look at this. Okay, I already found an error. I guess my template, my temp, Clip proofreading wasn't as good as I thought. So we're not sourcing in info, we're sourcing in page. Now let's keep scrolling down. MySQL prep. Why does that look fishy to me? It's because it is fishy. For our ID variable, we have it set to info as well. Again, I did not change it from our edit underscore info dot PHP page to our edit underscore page dot PHP page. So page, I'll save it there. Keep going down, keep going down. If errors, use that variable. Else if there was blank amount of errors. Okay, we already cleared that up. And let's focus on our link tags right now. So, go through there, add an underscore page. Okay, our form action. Again, it has the wrong query. This totally slipped when I was copying the edit underscore info.php page over and created this one. And delete page. We're going to go ahead and Dish this as well. Page echo table two menu ID that looks good. We got our JavaScript. Do we really want to do this? Yes, we do, or else we wouldn't have done it. Our link down here we changed to page. I don't know why I did this one, but not the other ones. Okay, should be good. So let's go ahead and reload it and click edit page. Voila, there it is. Okay, so now we can create pages by clicking on our information right here and click on add a new page. And for the pages that we already have established that have already been created, we can go ahead and edit these now. So for Village Park, I'll write 
Um, anything you want. Hey guys, we have successfully created dynamic dynamic pages in our CMS and we can now update them on the fly. Visible about Village Park, update page. The information was correctly updated. Now let's click on this page about Village Park. Hey guys, we have successfully created dynamic web page, dynamic pages in our CMS and we can now delete them on the fly. All right, perfect. Now let's go to a page that we want to delete. I'll delete Sweet Josh and we'll see if this works. It should have a JavaScript pop up. There it is. Do you really want to delete this page? Okay. And it's still there. Okay, so in the next page, or in the next video, we're going to figure out how to delete a page that we do not want in our CMS.